Aliyah. So in the video that I posted yesterday about Israel, I mentioned that I had a vacuum sealer delivered, right? So here is the vacuum sealer. It is so affordable. I'm going to leave a link in the description if you would like to check it out. These are the bags that I'm going to use. Uh, this is a two pack. I got this from Walmart. It was one of the cheaper ones. So this is what they're going to look like and I like these um, because you can cut them to size. Now they do have the option to buy like the gallon size bags that are pre-cut but I just always get these because I can cut them if I need them smaller and I feel like I don't waste as much. If you do decide to purchase this vacuum sealer, they are going to send you some bags to get started with and they are going to send you this um, attachment. I had a vacuum sealer and all the things um, and then when we moved we put everything to storage. If you guys know the story, it was um, robbed, everything, like they went in, they took stuff and they, anyway. So I'm having to buy new things and this is one of them, but you can buy an attachment that actually fits over the jar and it vacuum seals from the lid and it seals the jar. If I'm not mistaken, this is to one of the attachments that you would buy in the store. I think that has the little thing, you know, the bags that you can do. Um, so this is very convenient, but you would want to buy the separate attachment if you actually wanted to do like the mason jars. I am going to order one and when it comes in I'll show you guys how to use it. Okay so what's happening now is I'm cutting off some of the meat from the deer legs that um, really is kind of tough meat and I'm actually going to put those in baggies. This is the meat that I'm going to pressure can. Okie dokie, I am now ready. I've got some meat cut up here. I've got some meat cubed. This is the back strap that I'm going to vacuum seal. So this little doodad does not have an off and on button that I have found. So when I plugged it in back here, just like that, the light came on. With the rolls that I'm going to use, I'm going to have to seal one of the ends. So you're going to want to fit the end of your bag right up into that and then underneath is going to be the seal part and then on the top. I've got my bag fitted in. I'm going to want to press until it's locked. Then I'm going to press seal. Sounds like it's working. Now to open this you can't just lift it and pry it. There's a little button here and there's a little button here and you press those at the same time and it's going to open and release your lid. So if you can see it's got a really good seal so now I can take this and cut it to fit the size that I need. So I got two pieces of backstrap, well it's one backstrap cut in half and it's already in, I've got it labeled, it's ready to go and so now what I'm going to do is this is not a dry food, it's more of a wet food. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to wet and then I'm gonna do the vacuum and seal. And it should start to suck all the air out and seal the bag. Can you see? <laughs> Can you see how it is sucking that air out? And it's going to seal it and I'll be able to release it. Here it is, you guys, it's ready to go in the freezer. It is sealed on both ends. There's no air in there. It is ready. I really uh, love storing food this way. So if you're interested, like I said, there is a link in the description. If you wanna check this out, I promise you, it is super affordable, fast delivery. It is through Amazon. So if you don't have a problem buying from Amazon, this, this would be a good investment into your food preparation. So as you can see, I have quite a bit of work ahead of me. So I'm gonna say that's it for this video. Um, as I process some of this deer meat and when I do the canning process, I will definitely be back on, oh my goodness, my hair, to show you guys what that looks like. So I'm missing a couple things that I would like to have before I start the canning process. So it's gonna require a trip to the store, unfortunately, but that's okay because as I rebuild all my preps, um, I know what I need and I'm not having to learn as I go and it's gonna make things go a lot smoother and a lot faster. So one more look, here it is. It's gonna go in the freezer. Small for a thumbnail. 
Until next time, God bless. I hope you guys have an amazing day.